In this video, I'll find the limit x approaches to 0 cos of 1 by x. I'll do it numerically, that is by estimating the values of the function. So for that, I'll take some values of x which are going closer to 0. Now x, first value I'll take is 0 0.001 which is very close to 0. Next value is 0 0.0001. The next value is 0 0.00001. Now these values of x are going closer to 0. Now let's see at these points what are the values of cos of 1 by x. When x is 0 0.001, cos of 1 by x is 0. 5623. You can find these values from a graphic calculator. When x is 0 0.0001, cos of 1 by x is negative 0 0.9521. When x is 0 0.0001, cos of 1 by x is negative 0.9993. Now here we see when x is going closer to 0, cos of 1 by x is going closer to negative 1. Let's take one more value, 0 0.000001. Then cos of 1 by x is 0 0.9367. Here we see till this point when x is going closer to 0 cos of 1 by x is going closer to negative 1 but at this point the value of cos of 1 by x is very close to 1 that means when x is approaching to 0 cos of 1 by x is not approaching to a single value so that means this limit does not exist now I'll make the graph of this function to have a better picture. This is x-axis, this is y-axis, this is the point 0, 0. So I'll take x equals to 1 by some variable n into pi where n is a natural number, that is n is equal to 1, 2, 3, up to so on. So cos of 1 by x is cos of n pi by this substitution and this is equal to positive 1 when n is a 1 and negative 1 when n is odd. These are the values of cos of n pi when n is a natural number. I did this substitution so that I can make this graph easily. Now I'll plot these values of x on this axis. So when n is 1, x is 1 by pi. So I'll plot it here, 1 by pi. When n is 2, x is 1 by 2 pi. It would be here. 1 by 2 pi. Now this value will be in the left as the denominator is getting bigger, this whole fraction is getting smaller. So when n is 3, x is 1 by 3 pi. It would be here somewhere. 1 by 3 pi. Let's take one more value. When n is 4, x is 1 by 4 pi. It would be here somewhere. 1 by 4 pi. Now here you see, when I'm, I, when I'm taking more values of x towards the left, this gap is getting shorter. So to make it more convincing, uh, let's take the distance of these two points. So it would be 1 by 
pi minus 1 by 2 pi which is equal to 1 by 2 pi now I'll take the difference of these two points that is 1 by 2 pi minus 1 by 3 pi which is equal to 1 by 6 pi let's take the difference between these two points now which is 1 by 3 pi minus 1 by 4 pi which is equal to 1 by 12 pi now here you see this difference is 1 by 2 pi this difference is 1 by 6 pi which is smaller than this point and this difference is 1 by 12 point which is smaller than this point so this gap is getting smaller and smaller as we are going towards the left side now uh, okay here I'll take negative 1 here is positive 1 on y axis Now when x is 1 by pi, cos of 1 by x is negative 1. As when n is odd, cos of 1 by x is negative 1. So this point will be here. When x is 1 by 2 pi, then cos of 1 by x will be positive 1. As here n is even, so it will be here somewhere now when n is 3 that means when x is 1 by 3 pi cos of 1 by x will be negative here when x is 1 by 4 pi cos of 1 by x is positive 1 here now to make this graph I'll plot some more points I'll take a point between these two points I'll take it would be 2 by 3 pi between these two points and between these two points it would be 2 by 5 pi and between these next two points there will be a point on the axis 2 by 7 pi So now, I'll make these points with the red dot. So now here I see when x is 2 by 3 pi, that means when x is 2 by 3 pi cos of 1 by x will be cos of 3 pi by 2 which is equal to 0 exactly like that when x is 2 by 5 pi cos of 1 by x that means cos of 5 pi by 2 is again 0 and when x is 2 by 7 pi cos of 1 by x is cos of 7 pi by 2 which is 0 and so on so here we see at these points that is at these red points the value of cos of 1 by x is 0 uh, now I'll make the graph so when x is 1 by pi cos of 1 by x is negative 1 so from here if I start it goes like this and this interval is getting shorter as x is going closer to 0 and this graph will be very dense towards 
zero. I just drew this graph as x is approaching to zero. We cannot visualize this graph accurately. But from here we observe the graph of cos 1 by x is oscillating between minus 1 and 1. And this interval is getting shorter and shorter as x is going closer to 0. That means when x is approaching to a point 0, this graph is not approaching to a single value. That means this limit does not exist. And this is also called the strange behavior of this function as x is getting closer to 0.